What's going on everyone? Goldgas here. This episode is going to be showing you how to service an Intec 2. If you enjoy, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Push that bell notification button as well. If you don't do that, you might miss out on some uh, new videos that drop. Maybe some new promotions and new competitions. So it's worth doing. Do your basics. Visuals, flues, working pressures and all that jazz. Now I really like this boiler, reminds me of the logic a bit, the way it all comes apart and it's really quick and easy to service and you've got the Schrader valve of the vessel on top of the boiler so you don't even have to take the case off if you're just pumping up the vessel. Isolate the boiler, flow and return, gas, electrically. Drain the boiler, nice plastic drain off underneath. Uh, you can get a screwdriver in there, or you can use a tap spanner, little mini one for the uh, monos. Um, they're usually finger tight, and they only need to be done finger tight, so you can usually just use your fingers to drain it. Two screws on the front control cover, and then two screws holding the main cover. Pump out the vessel, as per manufacturer's instructions, or as per the vessel, and then spray the Schrader valve after. Undo the screw on the bottom holding the condense trap in, undo the screw holding the sump, disconnect the fan and the flue sensor and then also unscrew the sampling point cover at the top. Remove the clips holding the gas pipe in place, top and bottom, and then undo the latches, securing the burner down, and then that can lift up and you can remove the gas pipe. Remove the condense hose and tubes and then remove the condense trap. I'll try not to tilt it and then empty it out and give that a clean out. Okay. 
the sump will lower down and then you can pull that out pulling it down at the same time that should come out easy Fan assembly, lift out. Remove the earth tag on the burner. You can use this to assist you to remove the burner as if it hasn't been serviced in a while. It might get stuck down a bit. Check the seal, replace as necessary. Try not to touch the underside, the rough side and then remove and give that a clean out with a brush. If necessary, you need to clean it out with a compressor. That's if you're getting bad negative readings, but we'll look at that later on. Remove the electrode, two nuts, take that out, give that a clean up. The gasket needs to be changed yearly according to Alpha, so make sure you stock up on the gaskets. They change design, then they'll graphite um, to incorporate that in your servicing price. Main heat exchanger, give it a clean with some of your brushes, soft bristle, the long reach ones, the thin ones. Then when you want to use your solution of choice or just warm water or even just cold water, pour that down the main heat exchanger to get rid of any debris. Obviously the trap is removed so you need a bag underneath. I've got a rubble sack to catch all the water. Reassemble in reverse order. Obviously check in all those seals, replace as necessary. Uh, leave the latches undone on the main burner and then you can put your gas pipe in with ease. Pressurize the boiler and bleed the main heat exchanger. If you turn the power off to the boiler and you turn it back on, it will go for a purge cycle. Let it go through this cycle. It's about four or five minutes long. Then you want to put it all on for your negative fan test. This tests how clear the burner and main heat exchanger and the flueways are. I've got a separate video on explaining situations where you have bad pressure, so I'll put a link above.
with the boiler on high fire. Check the seals you've disturbed or replaced. Use your mirror or your analyzer to run it round. Make sure you don't get any readings in your analyzer. Make sure the mirror doesn't steam up. Check the sight glass with your mirror as these do crack. Then you put your hot boiler into high fire, low fire. Check the CO2 readings in comparison with the manual. Every output is different. Check that first couple of pages in the manual and it will tell you what you should be getting. CO readings below 200. If you don't know how to put this boiler into high fire, low fire, I'll just put a link above for the video for that. If this has helped you out or you enjoy my videos anyway, give me a thumbs up. It does help the videos and how they do in the long run. If you add me on social media, on Instagram or Twitter, then you can find some competitions, promotions and some plumbing disasters as well. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.